we're going to be doing what we call a multi-layer painting in Photoshop. And we're going to do this by putting our image into Photoshop and then making different layers for the different elements in the image. Here's the image that we're going to be working with, Sandy Beach. And there's a few other images that you could choose from if you prefer, but uh, this is the one I'm going to work from today. So I've got my image here on the desktop. I'm going to grab it, just drop it right onto my Photoshop icon, and here we have our image set and ready to go. Again, like I prefer to do, I'm going to give myself a little bit more working space here. Now, we're going to make a lot of layers. So I've got my background layer. I'm going to start right away by layer, new layer. I'm going to start by just making a layer called paper. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a new color. I'm really just going to make a plain white. And I'm going to paint bucket just like so. I want a white layer on top of that background. And then, of course, I can lower my opacity. I'm going to go down to about 30%. And then that's my paper layer. I'm pretty much done there, so I'm going to lock it. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to simulate this sky in the background. In fact, I'm actually, I'm going to unlock my paper layer because I want to turn it off. Now I'm going to make another layer. Layer, new layer. I'm going to call this sky, like so. And now what I'm going to do to create this sky is I'm going to use a custom gradient. So underneath the paint bucket, here's the gradient tool. And now up here, I can pick some different gradients to uh, fill in what I want. But I don't really want any of these. Uh, let's try color harmonies two, maybe. Oh, that's a little bright. How about color harmonies one? Let's try that one instead. Uh, these might do. We may have to alter some of these. We'll use this gradient right here. What I want to do is go from basically this blue down to kind of this sandy color. So I'm going to stick with this right here. I, you know, it really doesn't matter which gradient you use because I'm going to change the colors anyway. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab this yellow. So I'm going to double click the color stop. Now, instead of clicking in this area, I'm actually going to go over here and I'm going to click the blue of the sky. And then see there I've got it and I click OK. Now for this purple stop on this end, I'm going to double click that. And then I'm going to grab this um, sandy beach color like so. And then I'm going to click uh, OK. And now you can see my gradient goes from this bluish here down to this sandy beach color on the end. So I'm going to tell that OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and draw my gradient kind of across the paper like so. And it is going the wrong way, so we're going to try that again like this. And you know what? I want a little bit more beach, less sand, less sky. It's probably pretty good. Um, I'm going to turn down the opacity on this sky so I kind of get some idea. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. Now, I'm not going to play around with this a whole lot. This is basically just going to be the background. And you know, now that I see it, I think I actually want even more sand. So I'm going to start here and go up. Oh, come on. There. More sky. That's probably pretty good. Okay. Now I'm going to take this layer and once again, uh, we're going to lower the opacity here. Great. Now what we want to do is I want to create different layers for a lot of the different elements that you see in this painting. Um, so as I'm looking at this, I'm seeing, I'm going to do, uh, I did my sky, I'm going to do some clouds, I'm going to do uh, like a water, water slash beach layer, uh, maybe a layer for these bushes here, 
probably a layer for these trees, and then a final layer for all these uh, seats and umbrellas. So we want to start by painting the thing that's really on the very bottom, which is probably the sky. So why don't we start by painting the clouds. So I'm going to make another layer right now, and I'm just going to do it right down here. New layer. I'm actually going to call this one clouds. Now what I want to do is pick out a good brush to paint in my clouds. So I've opened up my brush tool right here by hitting the B key. And today we are going to be using exclusively, I'm clicking the fly out right here, and I'm going to use wet media brushes. Okay. Now what I want to do is find a brush that I think is going to make some good looking clouds. So I'll look through all of these and I don't want a watercolor. I'm going to use this heavy scatter flow, I think, maybe too small. How about a dry brush on towel? Let's try that. So I'm going to use my draw pad here and I'm going to use this what we call dry brush on towel. I'm actually going to make it a little bigger. I'm about a 60. This is pretty good. And now let's grab some different color. This white's a little bright. Uh, I can just grab right from here. That's a little dark though. I want my clouds to be a little bit lighter, a little easier to see. Uh, my opacity is at 40%, which is probably pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dab in on my clouds layer where I see some of the whiter colors of the clouds. I think, yeah, this isn't too bad. I, I think I've picked a pretty good brush. And I can smear a little where they're a little heavier, etc. Maybe a little more like that. I may have to go back and smear this in later. Now I want some more color. So I'm going to grab this darker color. I want a little more gray, a little less blue. And I'm just going to go in and Dab this in and make it look kind of cloudy. Like so, just a little more down here. Now, what we can do is turn on this paper layer. I'm actually going to turn this up. And you can start to see my clouds taking shape. Let's turn that sky layer back up too. See those clouds coming in? Now I can go back to my clouds layer. And I can actually start to just do what I want to do with the clouds. It's your piece of artwork. So go ahead and put in you know, what you think the clouds ought to look like. Something like this. So now, there we go. And then what I eventually may decide I want to do on this clouds layer is I may want to put a blur or something on this layer. Filter. Blur. Let's just put a real easy Gaussian on here. And you'll see if I turn this up, it just blurs those clouds a little bit and makes them look a little bit more cloudy. There. Not bad. So now I'm going to turn my paper layer back off so I can see the picture again. Turn my sky back down. You can see working with all these layers gets pretty complicated. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another layer and I'm going to start working on this beach. Um, you know what? It's going to be a pretty simple one because there's not much there. I think I made two layers by mistake. We'll call this layer here the one we called layer one. This will be B-E-A-C-H, beach. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another brush. Uh, this is going to be a pretty, pretty big brush. Let's go with oil medium brush wet edges. And now let's just grab this beachy color and let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I'm just going to paint in this and I really, you know what, I'm going to turn, I don't need much of it because I've got this sky layer here that we can turn up like so. And I just need to see where the barrier 
between the beach and the sand is because I'm gonna there that's good okay now I'll go back to my beach right and now I'm just gonna start painting it in in fact I'm gonna raise my opacity on that brush so it's pretty heavy because I really just need a good paint in. Um, keep painting in my beach area. Okay, so I've pretty much finished off painting in my beach layer here. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to start to paint in the ocean and the waves. So here where I've got layer two, I'm going to put in ocean. And I lost my layers palette. O C A. Yeah. Good enough. I get it. Now what I'm going to do is on my ocean layer, I'm going to grab my brush, like so, and I'm going to use this same, uh, I'm on my oil medium brush, wet edges still, and I'm going to grab some uh, ocean watery color uh, you know what, before I do that, actually, I want to turn off that sky layer so I get a better... Yeah, see, look at how deep that blue is. I want that blue. So let's grab this blue. Maybe, and then I'm going to adjust this myself. I see a little bit of green in there that I want to show. So I'm going to go with kind of an aqua color. Now I can turn that sky back on. And now what I'm going to do is just start to paint in, uh, I'm going to use my rotate tool actually, because I want to paint in that edge of the water, and I want it to be straight. So I'll go back to my brush, and now make sure I'm on my C layer, and now I'm just going to paint in that water. Oh boy, that's dark a little bit here. That's better. And you know what? I'm still not happy with my angle. Kind of like so. Ooh. Go back to my brush. And now I'm going to start painting in that edge. And like so. And you can see it's uh, taking my computer a little while to catch up with the brush. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to start painting in, like in this area, uh, I've got a little more of the water. And I'm going to keep painting that in. Now eventually, and you can see I've got some more of the water to paint in here. Now eventually, what's going to happen, I'm going to go back to my Rotate View tool and reset my view. And I would go through, I go back to my brush, and I'm going to actually, I'm going to paint in more of these like wave areas, like so. And the key here is that you don't need to be afraid of painting right underneath these trees and things like that because I'll go back and I'll do the trees on a separate layer. And you can see here my computer's having a really hard time keeping up with uh, both the screen recording I'm making and doing the brush painting in Photoshop. So uh, hopefully yours will catch up a little faster. Let's go on here, and now what I'm going to show you is the kind of some of the final steps. Let's do these trees. So I'm going to make one more layer. And I'm going to call this one trees. And OK. 
And now I'm going to switch to a much smaller brush for these trees. Uh, I'm going to go with what's called an oil small tip. And then what I'll do is switch over to a green for these trees. And I can actually uh, just do this kind of by hand. That looks pretty good. And then what I'll do um, is I'm actually going to turn my water, my sea layer off. And I'm going to turn down my sky. So I can see more of these trees, like so. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in the tree. I'm going to paint in the trees over the top of my ocean layer. Uh, so if I go over here, I've got the ocean off, I've got the sky down, okay. I'm going to go on my trees layer here, and this brush is so small I can barely see it. But I can start to sort of put in some dab lines of where these trees would fall. And again, as you can see here, I'm really having some trouble with my computer keeping up with the recording. So you'll see once it catches up with the lines I've made here, what I can do is go back over here and let's turn all of our layers back on and we'll start to get some idea of kind of what we have so far. And you can see here's the trees, here's where I started to paint in my sand. I like my clouds a lot. But obviously, I've got a lot more work to do here. Let's take a look real quick. File at one that is more done. Here we have a better example of a more of a finished product. I haven't done the clouds on this one yet. Uh, but here you can see where the trees are uh, kind of over the layer of the sand and the water and the bushes. For instance, here, I can turn the tree layer off or, and I'll lose the trees, see? And you can see I've done bushes. I did my little railing down here. Again, this one still needs a little bit more work, but it's much more done than the one we had previously. You can see I've got my layers down here, okay? So, try doing the same thing. Uh, I would suggest using the wet media brushes for your work and uh, move on. Uh, I'm going to keep working on mine. I still need to do my, uh, my umbrellas and things here uh, on the inside and obviously some clouds up here on the top. So, now that you've got some idea of how to do the painting, how to do the layers, Go ahead and get started. Do a good job.